everyone and welcome back to her channel. Once again, Anthea here to bring you a peek into her life. If you're new here, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe to her channel for new content every Friday. Also, please consider becoming a patron. You can find her Patreon link down below in the description box. And now, on to the video. In today's video, this girl is going to cover some basic questions she's gotten about the Korean lifestyle and how it works in her relationship. Uh, the first question is, what is the Korean lifestyle? Uh, gore, or the Korean lifestyle, is an alternate world setting for John Norman's Chronicles of Gore books. It's a series of thir 34 novels that combine philosophy, erotica, and science fiction. Now, when you adapt this to um, real-world individuals, the word Gorean uh, just simply means someone who adheres to the philosophies uh, that were um, made for Norman's writings, um, and especially for someone who lives a lifestyle that's based around this particular philosophy. Um, the philosophies include being true to yourself and your inner nature, honor, taking responsibility, integrity, um, embracing who you are, um, whether that's as a free person or as a slave. You, you live your life totally and completely uh, being true to yourself. Um, it also holds the idea that, in general, men are dominant and women are submissive. This does not mean that all women are meant to be kajire. It just means that for the most part, men are seen as dominant and women are submissive. Um, now in the books, there are examples of free women and male slaves. So there's no hard and fast rule that all men are dominant and all women are submissive or meant to be slaves. It's just that, uh, if you were to look at something statistically, nine times out of ten, um, that it would be the pattern pattern of things. At least that's how it's written in the books, and that is the underlying philosophy of people who um, follow the Gorean philosophy and lifestyle. Um, now you may be asking, how does this work? Um, you know, you have your, your master is a woman. Um, and going back to the example of there were free women in the books, free women could do as they wished. They were free just as men were free. Um, and they were able to own property, to own slaves, to run their own businesses. Um, so it's not contradictory that this girl is owned by a woman. Um, what is our dynamic like? Um, Master and this girl have a very interesting dynamic because of the fact while this girl is Gorean, Master is not. Master identifies as living a BDSM lifestyle, and this also incorporates many of uh, the same philosophical ideas uh, mentioned above, honor, integrity, responsibility, being true to yourself. Um, but it doesn't have that element of natural male dominance, female submission. It's not a given uh, that, you know, automatically that if you're a man, you're most probably dominant versus if you're a woman, you're most likely submissive. Um, that just doesn't enter into it. Uh, we also have a non-romantic, non-sexual relationship. Well, it's, what does this mean? Uh, we don't have sex. We don't go on dates. We don't get involved romantically. We don't hold hands. We don't have cutesy nicknames for each other. Uh, and there's no vanilla aspect to our lifestyle or relationship. We are affectionate to each other, but in a platonic way. And our relationship is strictly one of owner and owned. That is our relationship dynamic. Uh, um, do the three S types in your house have different tasks or chores every day? Yes and no. There's no set chore division or even schedule in our house. Life is just a little too crazy for that right now. Um, however, there are some specific chores that Master Slave is in charge of. Um, he hand washes the dishes every day and he does Master's laundry once a week. Uh, master Slave and this girl switch out who brings Master 
breakfast in the morning? Are we allowed to swap those chores? Unless we specifically go to the other and say, hey, I need assistance or I need your help with, you know, the dishes or the laundry, you know, maybe that person doesn't feel good that week um, or they've been overwhelmed. Um, in master slave case, master, in master's slave's case, there are weeks where at his job, he works 12 hours a day, you know, uh, for one or two weeks straight. And he may not have the energy to do master's laundry that week. Um, so he'll ask for this girl's assistance. But in general, it's hands off. We don't touch the other person's chore. Uh, if master isn't around, who makes the decision? Master has no first slave dynamic in her house, meaning that no slave has authority over the others. There's no alpha slave. Uh, it's up to each individual to make their own decision in a given situation. However, if it's something that re would require permission to do, we are to reach out to master either via phone call or text. Um, and if we have to wait for an answer, then we proceed as if that answer is going to be no. What does a typical day look like? A typical day for this girl starts with making master coffee and breakfast. Master always has the same thing for breakfast, so it makes it very easy. She wants coffee, scrambled eggs and toast, or a bagel with lots of cream cheese. Then this girl will enter master's room set the plate and coffee down as she kneels in the nadu position nadu is a specific uh, kneeling position and uh, this girl will wake master up and she'll say something like your girl brings you coffee and breakfast master then she will kiss the side of the coffee cup and offer it up to master saying something like your coffee master once master takes the coffee this girl offers up the plate of food and uh, after Master has taken these things, Master will tell this girl to get herself something as well. And this usually consists of her own coffee and portion of eggs and toast. Sometimes she may fix herself something different, but in general it's just easier and quicker to make a larger batch and have her own portion. Um, while we're eating, we go over the chores and the errands that need to be done that day. Um, how each other is feeling, how, where are we mentally, where are we physically, um, you know, how is this girl uh, feeling on any given day, how is her anxiety level, how are her brain weasels, um, does she need to go back to sleep because it's been a really bad night. Um, after breakfast is finished, then this girl will gather up the dishes and she leaves them in the sink for master's uh, male slave to handle. Um, then it's on to the business of the day, whether it's doing chores or running errands or helping master with her jewelry business or putting time aside to work on uh, videos, um, although she usually works on her video stuff at night. In the evening, this girl will ask master, where where would you like your girl tonight, Master? And depending on the answer, that's where she sleeps. Usually the answer is upstairs, which means this girl gets to sleep in her own room. Sometimes um, Master will say, uh, you know, this girl could sleep in her bedroom. And that usually means that this girl gets to sleep on the floor, um, on a pallet, chained to Master's bed, um, usually by the leash ring of her collar, um, uh, but it may also be by the collar and an ankle. Um, and on very, very rare occasions, this girl gets the honor of sleeping in master's bed for the night, um, which is really nice because it's just very comforting to be able to have someone else in bed. It, it's just a comfort thing. So, um, she hopes that answered your questions. If you have other questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if you become a patron, you can uh, send her questions through Patreon and she will put together a video of your questions and answer all those burning things that you want to know. Um, so please remember to like and subscribe 
and she'll see y'all next week. Bye.